Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I've spoken to you guys. Uh, so there is a reason why I haven't been around and I wanted to show you why. Uh, so this here is the reason why. I had a baby and I'd like to introduce you to Finnegan. Uh, he was born in October 2017 and he is now seven months old and just a gorgeous little boy. So things are going to be a little bit different around the channel now that I've obviously got a baby and I'm a mother now, which is really, really strange. Uh, but he's just so happy and gorgeous and just wanted to let you guys know that he is the exact reason that I have not been around. <laughs> so I thought that I would come back with my first video back as uh, something that's been really highly requested is an updated version on how to install Mystic Mesa Mod Pack 2018 edition. So things, the premise is basically still the same, um, but I will start from scratch for the people that have come over from the old video and from people that have just found me. Uh, so what you need to do is go to the, the link that I will leave below, which is curseforge.com forward slash twitch dash client, which is uh, the new way of getting the curse client. So you just need to download the Twitch desktop app which is super handy now because I am actually going to be streaming on Twitch. Uh, my Twitch is Ms Forever AU, and you can follow me there. I will be streaming on it on a regular basis, hopefully most days. But it just depends with Little Master Finnegan or what he's going to allow me to do. There may be a few breaks and things like that for him, uh, but we'll see. I hope to stream quite frequently and then I will also edit the streams down and post them on my channel here on YouTube. So if you do miss a stream, it's no big deal because you'll see the highlights anyway here on the channel. So you download the Twitch desktop app. Once you have downloaded the Twitch client, you get this lovely desktop app here so you can log in with Twitch. I would suggest setting up a Twitch account rather than a Curse account because you're going to use your Twitch account for Twitch streamers and everything else. So Curse is sort of the, the older way to do it now. So you just log in here and then you just wait for Twitch to log in. Uh, so then what you need to do is you need to come up here and go to mods and then you go to Minecraft. Now I've already got the Mystic Mesa mod pack installed here. You won't have anything, it'll be blank. So what you want to do is browse all mod packs, you go to search and you type in Mystic and there you get, you get Mystic Mesa. So if you click on this, where I've got play here, it'll be installed. So you won't have the play button, you just have install. So you click on that, it does take its sweet ass time to install. So you do just have to bear with it. Let it do its thing, and then let that load. It will open up the Minecraft launcher. It'll ask you to log in. It's perfectly safe to do that. It's just opening up your normal Minecraft launcher. It's one of the things I do like about the fact that it's through Twitch now is it's a little bit more comfortable. I don't feel a little bit panicky about putting my Minecraft login details through Curse. I don't know what that was, but it's just something that wasn't well known to me at the time. I still did it, but you know, I feel a little bit better. Twitch is fairly well known now, so you're not gonna go and get your account hacked or lose your account to anybody. So obviously you can see I'm logged in here, you just want to go into play. And then let that load in. It does take a while because it needs to load up all of the mod packs. You don't want to touch any of the other options on the screen. It will have the correct place to log into down the bottom already, which is the Mystic Mesa mod pack. So don't adjust the server or anything like that. You just want to press play. Okay, so that is what the login screen of Mystic Mesa looks like. So you just want to go into your single player. I'll just delete that one. And you want to create a new world. So when you first do this, it will come up with a pop-up. Uh, pretty much just saying that to get all the biomes, you want to go into more world options. You change the world type to biomes of plenty. So that you get all of the separate different biomes. So then you just want to create a new world. Okay, and you should probably just leave it to load for a little bit. It is quite a lot of mods. can be a bit of a shock to the system. If you don't have a better computer, you may crash out. This may not work very well for you. It's a very heavy duty mod pack. Uh, so yeah, maybe just give it a crack, see if it works for you. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, I 
can't really help. If it does, great, and I'm so happy for you. Uh, so yeah, now we are in. One tip for you, make sure you go into your settings and into resource packs. Make sure that the Mystic Mesa resource pack and the Custom Sky um, resource pack is all on this right side. If it's not, it will be sitting over here like this. You just want to flick it over like that. Uh, that means that you've got the Stacy Plays um, resource pack here, which means all your diamonds will be blue and white. Your hearts are blue and white. Uh, and the custom sky just gives you a really pretty sky. So there we go. That is Mystic Mesa installed for you. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to come check me out on Twitch, which is msforeverau. Also, the same username on Instagram, where I will have it updated. My Twitter is msforever. I also share links to new videos. Yeah, I think that's it. So that is the first video back on the channel done. And I will see you guys either next time here on YouTube or on our stream or somewhere on my social networking. Thanks, guys. Bye.